Hello everyone. This week's video is a bit late. Uh, simple explanation. I bought Civilization VI this week and it soaked up a bunch of my time which I would normally have spent making this week's video. Now it doesn't take long to make one of these single take uh, rambles uh, unless you have to retake it ten times to get something that doesn't go too far off topic. Now uh, Civilization VI itself, I waited this long just because it was the price was ridiculously high. It was overpriced even for a Civilization game. Uh, and there was a sale this month that brought it down into something that I felt was reasonable. So I decided, okay, I'll buy the game. I was going to buy it anyway uh, since the Linux release uh, around the start of the year. So uh, now that it was within a reasonable uh, realm of pricing, I went and got it. And that caught me into the just one more turn loop. And as a result, I didn't make a video until Saturday, which is fine. It's not like I'm being paid for these and I don't have a fixed schedule I have to keep. Well, anyway, um, I don't have anything in particular to talk about. This is Canada Day as I'm recording this and as it goes out. But I don't really have much to say about Canada Day. Uh, so I'm not going to. Uh, instead, I'm going to go on with question two in the book of questions. Now, this question goes, What would you do if your six-year-old daughter's favorite toy, a talking doll, started trying to convince her that she needed a new friend, the next doll in the company's line? Well, the first thing I would do is have an emotional response. Uh, now, I don't have children, so I don't know exactly how I'd respond, but I would have an unhelpful emotional response. I would be angry, and uh, I, I would be thinking, how dare they? Now, uh, depending on the exact circumstances when I found out, I might take the, the doll away immediately, and I might even destroy it. I'd certainly uh, be mad enough to. Whatever I would do, it'd probably be irreversible and it'd probably create a, a temper tantrum that I wouldn't deal with very well. And there would be a, a war, basically, between me and my daughter. Now, uh, once things calm down a little bit, you know, once, the, once I, my daughter is sent off to her room for the temper tantrum or something like that, and I had time to think about it and think about it rationally, I might regret what I, I did when the initial situation came to my attention, but I would take the time to uh, think through what I can do. And that would it, it range from contacting the company and saying, hey, is there any way to stop this? Or is this even something you guys are having it do? Because it could be that the company didn't actually do it. Uh, and maybe they have a solution and they send me a replacement that doesn't do it or something like that. Now, in the more likely eventuality that they really are doing it, then I will know that it's a marketing gimmick which is reprehensible. And quite frankly, targeting children to get them to rag on their parents until their parents buy a product should not be legal. Targeting children with ads should not be legal. Especially younger children that don't really have the world smarts to understand that people are out to deceive them. There are A lot of people are trying to deceive them. So they tend to believe the ads even if they are patently ridiculous. They don't have the life experience or, depending on their age, the cognitive capacity to understand this. Now, in this case, we're talking about a six-year-old who is old enough to have a somewhat rational conversation. So, regardless what I ended up doing about whether I buy the new doll or not, the new product or not, I would need to have a rational conversation with my daughter, or at least attempt to, and explain to her what was happening and why it's a problem. It would be a very hard conversation, and I, I think I would do everything I could to avoid it, but I think I would have to. I'd be forced into it eventually to end the war. 
Um, it's one of those situations that's just plain... Uh, well, I think there's no right answer on what to do. Depending what that next product is and why this uh, targeted ad thing is going on, it might be that the new product is a better product, a safer product. Maybe there's a problem with the old one. And maybe I've been ignoring product recalls or something like that. Whatever. But I'm going to assume that it's just standard corporate uh, uh, behavior and think, okay, this is obviously not the, the best situation. So what would I do? Well, initially I'd have that emotional reaction. I'd probably take the toy away. There's a good chance I would throw it away. And then I would have to deal with the fallout. And that may, depending on the nature of the fallout and the risk situ situation and or the exact circumstances that might involve buying the very thing that I'm horrified that the, the previous toy wanted me to buy, or it may mean getting something that, uh, getting a different thing as a replacement, a different company's product, or it could just be I don't get anything and I deal with the, uh, with the problems that causes between me and my daughter. And, and this is an important point because if you are a parent, if you're a parent, now I'm not, and uh, if you are, you're probably going to be, saying, who the hell are you to give parenting advice? But I think this is generally good advice overall. But if you're a parent, you need to remember that your job is not to keep your children happy. Your job is to prepare them for life. Now, while they're really young, keeping them happy is probably the best option because that's going to be likely meaning that they're getting what they need. On the other hand, as they get older and old enough to understand things, and six years old is certainly old enough to start understanding things, you need to be ramping it up and making it clear that they don't always get what they want. And that uh, you need to start making it clear at some age that some people are not honest and that they can't trust absolutely everything they hear and see. That's an important point. And if more people were brought up with some level of skepticism like that, I think we probably have a lot less going on where people get taken by con artists. Still, I... Uh, I don't know that I would, as a parent, be any better than anyone else. Uh, I don't have the experience to know that. Anyway, that's probably as much as I can say on the question without running around in loops, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, so if you liked the video, or you didn't, leave a like or a dislike. And if you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.